friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. Let me show you how we solved our water problem using a 3,000 gallon tank that we bought and we're bringing in potable water to get our water to our home. This is a temporary situation for about six to eight months until we get a new well put in. So let me show you how we got it all put together. Let's get started. There's the 3,000 gallon tank that we had delivered and uh, it fit real nice under my solar structure here. Uh, I got the tank that was 93 inches high by 102 inches diameter, 3,000 gallons. Uh, reason I chose the 93 inch high is the clearance. You need to have clearance between the top lid and the roof of the solar system for them to get the potable water uh, pumped in there, okay? The other tank I was looking at was 97 inches tall and the purlin height from that first purlin down to the concrete slab was 97 inches so the 93 inches fit in perfectly. Uh, we had it delivered on the truck that they, we just rolled it off the truck onto carpet. If you have carpet, if you got dirt and no one get dirty, get some used carpet or something or black plastic, roll it on that and we rolled it over here, we set it up in the upright position, popped it up onto the concrete and slid it on that black plastic which slid very very nicely. It's only 400 pounds empty so two guys can do it. We had three. Uh, it worked out well. We're going to use this because it's um, going to be about another six months before we can get a well put in, a 300 foot well. And so now we'll go ahead and have the potable water delivered. It's $275 for a 3,000 gallon load and the tank cost us uh, Shipping and tax included about uh, almost $2,700. And I'll give you links below of where I got everything. And we, I also have these 45 gallon trash cans with lids. And we have them full of water for extra water for the, uh, if we run out of the tank, because we're gonna have it filled every two weeks. And I just have here five, uh, 200 gallons worth of water, just to be sure. So those are the, uh, the Hyper Tough 45 gallon wheel trash cans. All right, at Walmart for like 33 bucks a piece. Not a bad deal. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, assembling the fittings and everything for the pump. We have a two inch threaded port here. And so I went down and bought a two inch threaded PVC coupler with a slip on this side here, okay. I went with a reducer from a two inch down to an inch and a half, and then an inch and a half to a three quarter. The three quarter is threaded with a slip. So all these joints get glued together. This is a three quarter inch nipple that will thread into the, um, the three quarter inch threads on this PVC fitting. That goes into a ball valve, a three quarter inch ball valve. You really need a ball valve because you don't want to not have a way to turn the water off if you have to change the pump. Okay, and then a three quarter inch fitting to a hose fitting for that, okay? And then we will hook a two foot hose, okay, onto that fitting right there. And the other end of the hose goes to the pump. We're filling it right now with uh, potable water. Takes about half an hour, half hour fill, 10 pounds pressure, that fitting's holding fine. We just got finished filling our tank. Bubba's Water Truck Service. I'll put a link below. You can get in contact with them. Really re good, great service very good prices for water. I had a design change. That first small pump that I tried didn't have the pressure or the flow that we wanted. It was adequate, but it, the main problem was this, the uh, sensor for the flow switch wasn't working correctly. So I went ahead and returned that as a defective unit because it was defective and I upgraded to this one half horse pump. I'll put a, a link down below. Has pretty good reviews on Amazon on it. Uh, it works well for us. It has 40 PSI pressure and between 12 and 15 gallons per minute flow. So it works really very well. The only problem I had, I had two units that I got that 
the flow switch wasn't working quite as good as I wanted. So nice thing with Amazon Prime, they have a 30-day free return, so I returned them because uh, they were not working adequately enough for me. And I got this one and it's working beautifully. A couple things, uh, let me show you the fittings here. I went with all galvanized fittings from here down to here. Uh, reason being, it's just um, plastic is pretty weak at that point. So do the galvanized fittings, the inch and a half elbow, reduce down to the one inch, bell down to the three quarter. So pretty standard. Um, I do recommend on this joint right here, it will leak. That's the complaints that they had on the reviews, that the, the, the thing leaks. I got it to where the whole system is not leaking. Uh, we did this over here earlier. Oh, excuse my shadow. I showed you how to do that. I used um, compound. It works perfectly fine. But compound by itself doesn't work, or Teflon tape by itself didn't work on this joint right here with this uh, uh, this brass uh, fitting here goes from the foreign threads to the um, US threads. So you have to use that fitting and it does leak. So I found the best way to do it is to use the T plus two pipe thread sealant with the Teflon tape. So I went ahead and put on several layers of Teflon tape and then coated the outside of that Teflon tape with the uh, thread sealant and it works beautifully. No more leaks. Okay, so that, that's a key there to stop it from leaking. When you install this pump, it's critical that you go ahead and take that plug out, open up your valve and let water push all the air out, put the plug back in, then you have no problem with the priming. Otherwise, it may not prime correctly. The uh, hose hooked up here, running, running to the house across the driveway. And I'm gonna show you that. Look up the uh, video for the hose that I found that works well in a situation where cars run over it. Okay, anyway, that works out real well. We've had this in use for several months now. No complaints, and we're getting the potable water every week. All right, I hope this will help you. You guys have a blessed day. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you. I'm a general contractor and a lifelong do-it-yourselfer, and I enjoy finding ways to save time and money and helping others to do the same. Here at the Pennywise Guys, we're a group of contractors, friends, and family that have a wide range of experience in all different areas. And we want to share these videos with you to help you with your projects at home. So please like, subscribe, and share, and join our team. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos. I pray that you are blessed that you know him who is the author of life.